This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Welcome to the car guys and welcome to the Dodge Viper GTS. <laughs> Yes, that's right. Jason and I got to drive this magnificent vehicle at Bista Heritage for the Bonhams MPH auction. We had an awful lot of footage that we didn't use in the auction video and we just didn't have the heart to throw it away. So here for you is the extended cut of our Viper Drive. You are not going to want to miss this. Here we have possibly my favorite out of the bunch. This is a Dodge Viper GTS. This is a 2001 car priced at between 40 and 50,000. So I think probably a decent amount of money. It's done 29 and a half thousand miles from new and it is just glorious. Look at the blackness of this baby. It is just the best thing ever. So this is an eight liter V10 it was obviously a cooperation between Chrysler and Lamborghini at the time. Remember Chrysler owned Lamborghini. Oh, shocking times. So out of the cars that we're driving today, this is quite possibly the most powerful car, right? Yep, and I'm looking forward to this because I actually drove one of these in the early 2000s. Really? Yeah, so I'm looking forward to reliving the memories. I hope the memories don't involve you going backwards through the hedge. No, we didn't. I'm very excited about this car. I've wanted to drive one of these for literally ever. And look at it. Completely, it's in Darth Vader black. Oh my not, God, he's so amazing. <laughs> not the official color. It's got satin stripes on it, which are stickers, but it's a proper murdered out Viper. <laughs> this is just the best car ever. Look at it. The only thing that isn't black on this car is the polished chrome fuel filler. Yay. We have to be super careful, apparently. We have to do it equally, otherwise we could crack the whole thing. Ready? Ready? Go. Look at that. That is a V10. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit first about Squarespace. Now, Squarespace is a website development platform. In fact, it's an all-in-one platform. And that's what really attracted Jason and I to using it for the carguys.tv website. Yes, folks, this is a product that we actually use and we have used for our official the carguys.tv website and also actually the watchguys.tv as well. Why did we choose Squarespace? Really, it was because of its usability. It's an all-in-one platform, so you can sort out your domain hosting. You can then put the website on that domain. You can create a beautiful looking website, and then you can run and administer and check the analytics and easily change the pages or configure and add new features to it. That's really why we found the Squarespace technology to be the best, and it's why we use it every day for the carguys.tv. We've just incorporated a store and also a gallery of Instagram snaps. So we've linked our Instagram to the website so that you can see all the latest pictures there. We find Squarespace to be the perfect web building platform for us. So why not head to squarespace.com for a free trial? And if you go now to squarespace.com forward slash the car guys, you'll get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Oh. oh, oh yeah! Loving this. Oh, seatbelts in the centre. Are they? Seatbelts are in the centre, people. Oh, clever, clever Americans. I reckon this is probably in my top five, maybe even top three of this entire auction, this car. Yeah. I mean, I know it's murdered out, and I know... Is it murdered out, really? I mean, yeah. it's black on black on black, but... Yeah but I mean, it's proper murder spec and it kind of smells like someone's been f***ing in here. <laughs> this is winning. You are winning every day of your life if you're driving this car. So the first thing that strikes me... How many times it beeps when you leave the door open? Oh my God, how many beeps? The door's ajar, we know. Yeah. I opened it. The, the door's beep. ajar. There you go. Oh, turn that off. Turn it off. There is about four miles between us and the front of the car. Wow. 
I mean, look at that. I mean, that is a look bonnet. at that bonnet. Yeah, or hood. Oh, it's hood. Yes, mm. of course. Yes. I love this view as well because this is exactly the same view that you had in Need for Speed on the 3DO. Oh, love it! Good look reference. at those. Look at the dials. Big slabs of what could only be considered fairly cheap recycled coffee cups. <laughs> That's a big old slab for a big old oh, tattooed but look, arm. But it's, it's contoured to, to fit your yeah, is, forearm it? into it. It's quite claustrophobic, so these mm. are proper two little cockpits. Mm. You've got some swoops, you've got some little sort of like bumps and ridges over the dials. The dials are very clear, very simple, classic NASCAR dials. I actually drove one of these in 2003 at Snetterton. Snetterton? Yep, at the circuit, the old circuit. On that day, we had one of these, a 993 Carrera, a Ferrari 355, and a Lotus Turbo Esprit. And this was the best handling car of the day. Well. Bar none. Really? Yep. These are I mean, properly... I could see over the Lotus, obvs. I mean... No, this was by far the best car to drive. Wow. And it surprised everyone on the day. And the instructor said, yeah, yeah everyone says that. I'm loving the wrap round windscreen as well. I mean, yeah. there's so much curvature in that. And I've just noticed over your shoulder there is a little toggle that says pull for emergency exit. Right. Shall we begin? How do we start this thing? It's well, got a complicated just try it. procedure, isn't Well, it? just try and see if it'll start on the... Nothing. Oh, yeah, look at the key. Look, it's got a little snake on it. Oh, snake. I mean, you've got to buy it just for that. Right, so we've got some buttons on here. Which right. ones do I press? So I found that if you push that button there... Yeah. Oh, that's Now it should it. start. Right, let's go, let's go. No, it must be the other one as well then. So that one? That one. No. That one. That sounds there you good. Go. Yes. We are now running oh with a V10 450 horsepower Lamborghini derived monster. And this is particularly apt because I actually came up today in my Lamborghini Gallardo. This feels massive, but it feels amazing. It is massive as well, isn't it? I mean, it's properly, properly massive. Listen to the cubes. There's the sheer cubes of this engine. It's phenomenal. Here we go then. Oh yeah. It's such a lazy car to drive. You would have thought that that V10 would be highly strung, wouldn't you? Like it is in the Lambo, but in this... I mean, the pedals are very close together, I will say that. So you don't want to... You don't want to reach for the brake in a hasty situation because you're probably not going to make it. Or you could get into a lot of trouble in this car. This is a feisty little thing, this. It's just wanting you to, oh. to give it oh. bean oh. <laughs> oh, we're not going to get much beans, not going to get a lot of beans in, in this space, unfortunately. We're not even going to be able to tickle the beans <laughs> of this car. That's just not going to happen. You need to go to first gear, I think. Not in this short stretch, on the next bit. Oh, you're mental. What are you doing? Well, I just wanted to, just wanted to relax a little bit, to be honest. I was a bit oh, scared. Really? Okay. It is intimidating, isn't it? The whole car is rocking when you do that. Yeah, oh. that's what it's supposed to do. <laughs> this is an animal. This is a monster, monster car. In the best way. Oh. I mean, they literally do not make these. I mean, They're not allowed like, to make oh. these anymore like this. Oh, it's so good though, isn't it? There's Look. health and safety to think about. This is a generation two Viper. Okay. Now what they've done to make it a generation two is they've actually put chassis strengthening plates in. Have they? Which makes me think that, that the first generation Vipers must have just, what? Bent in half, <laughs> bit like bananas or something. Can we have a bit of beanage, please? Really? Yeah, beanage. Let's have it. First gear beanage. I'm a little bit scared. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. I'm here with you. Are you sure? Yeah, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh my god! Oh my god! I mean, all I was doing was hanging on at that point. There was nothing else going on in my mind except keeping us alive. <laughs> that is amazing. How good does that sound on full power? I mean, it, it sounds good. It sounds amazing. You're really, you've got a lot of adrenaline Ooh, going there, right. haven't you? Your turn. Oh, 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 oh. 
and we're back. Come on. Oh, now I would advise, I mean I, I should say be careful but unfortunately you're you. <laughs> oh yeah. Clutch is high isn't it? Yep. Just acres and acres of bonnet. I mean look at the bonnetage on it. And there's so much power you can get into serious serious trouble. We're talking two and a half times the power of the Sierra Cosworth. <laughs> Right, beans. Beans? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of understeer. Yeah, a little bit of understeer. Oh, there's nowhere for me to put my feet to brace against the impact. The throttle pedal is very light. Yep. I mean, you don't need an awful lot of... Yep. It's kind of... It's Ferrari light. get used to a bit of that. I do wonder though if we're ever going to get out of first gear. I know exactly. <laughs> There's not enough room in the world is there to go from first to second. I mean it says it's got a six-speed box but but really? You need so much space. I used to have like a Barago 18th scale one of the of the standard red viper the open top one so I'm just so familiar with this shape it's yeah. so it's iconic it's another yeah. iconic looking car. It's such a warm feeling for me whenever I see a Viper, it's just great. I really should own one, but you just sort of think, how could you own one in oh, England? I don't think you can, can you? It's madness. There's lots about this car that I don't like, I have to be honest. Go on then, what don't you I like? I don't like the very cheap plastics. Yeah. I don't like the Ferrari level of gentleness that you have to use on the accelerator. The clutch pedal just feels, well, I've got my knee up by the steering wheel. Yeah. And if I put my knee out straight, so it actually drops the clutch, then my legs is completely straight. Right. I don't like that. Yeah, I think, you know, the long throw gearbox takes a bit of time to get used to. I, I actually do like the interior. I quite like the cockpitness of the interior. I love the shape, obviously that, that bonnet. The shape is just the best. Yeah. You know, I know from driving it on track at speed, these handle really, really well. And you just think they wouldn't. You'd never assume that this car would out handle a 355 or a 911 but it absolutely did. You can feel that it's got poise and it's got balance right which it doesn't necessarily look like it will have from the outside it just looks like it's a thug and it's here to do one job and one job only. Smash your face Smash in. Smash your face in as hard as it can. Yeah. But I'm not sure I'd want to hustle it. Do you know what I mean? But it, that, that's the thing I think is surprising about it is it's very hustleable. It's got, F, it really it's got an F12 feeling to it but actually dare yeah. I say it it feels like it handles a bit better. I, I think it does. Doesn't it? I honestly think it does. Forty to fifty thousand quid. It's a lot. It's a lot it's of a money. Lot. It's a lot. It's, it's only done twenty nine and a half thousand miles, but it's an American car. It's left hand drive. I think this one will struggle to get to that money. However, whoever does get it is is it's I think you know a lucky a person. Yeah, I think in it's a good for car. A so this one has got a JMB dual intake induction system. Yep. Uh, he reckons it's gonna, it delivers 28 miles to the gallon on the motorway. Mm, if it was on the back of a recovery <laughs> truck, maybe. It's got new water pump, new brake pads. Stops well. It does stop well. It's got air conditioning. I mean, it's a beast, isn't it? Yeah, it is. For that kind of money, there's, you'd be hard pushed to find anything else for that cash that is going to give you the thrills and yeah. handle as well as this. Can I just do one more bit of beanish before we go back? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! What? Let me out! Let me out of this! <laughs> out of this <laughs> car! Oh, you see? I hope you enjoyed the Dodge Viper video in all its entirety. Please subscribe, leave comments and likes. We really do appreciate it and we do read all the comments and we answer many of them. Also, please visit our Instagram page and comment there. And don't forget to check out our merchandise available from the Car Guys shop, either on YouTube or from our website, thecarguys.tv. And there will be another Car Guys episode along next week.